with everything that's happening right now, I am angry. I'm over it. And if you're expecting gentleness and comfort from this TikTok, scroll. Just go. I made a video asking for insight as to why people were not masking. And now that I have gotten lots and lots of responses, what it amounts to is like y'all don't want to. And it's fucked up. And what it comes down to, and I need you to really hear me on this. Y'all have not grieved. You have not accepted and grieved a world that doesn't exist anymore. And you couch it in phrases like getting back to normal and we can't do this forever. But what it is, is that you're actually, you're working the corpse of a world that doesn't exist anymore, like it's weekend at Bernie's. You want to live in a world like you used to live in, and you don't. And just because most other people are going along with the same delusion that you have, that they don't want to accept it, and they are helping you to not grow the fuck up, you're going along with it. That same empty-eyed expression that I get from people when I talk about wearing a mask and taking it seriously, it's the same one. I'm used to this expression. And you know what it's like? It's like when I talk to people about the fact that the 13th Amendment does not make slavery illegal, that we still live in the world's largest slaveholding country. It's like many, many videos ago when I talked about people who I knew who had moved to Hawaii that I stopped fucking with because people asked them not to go. And now we see people who are literally swimming in fresh graveyards and they don't give a shit. And it really, it's all the same to me. It looks the same. And this is across all political spectra. I'm, I expected in some way better. And I, I hate it when people say stuff like, well, I'm not surprised. Fuck that. You should be surprised. That's not a flex, baby. That's a trauma response. The fact that you're not surprised about bad shit, that's not good. Yo, the world is literally on fire, okay? People who live in Lahaina, right? They are not going to be able to ignore the things that have happened, the new world that they live in, because it was literally burned down. But because you can't see C-19 in the air, you can keep pretending that you don't see it. Because you don't see people in prisons, you pretend that you don't see them. And anything that you don't see actively in front of you that you have no choice but to face, you try not to face it. That's not healthy, darling. That's not okay. And what's worse, you're gaslighting people. You're helping the overculture. You're helping the 1%. You're helping the patriarchy because what they want us to do is to keep working, to keep spending, to ignore the current conditions, whatever those conditions happen to be. Okay. They want us to keep ignoring it so that they can keep stealing our money while many of us get on alive. Cry, scream, yell to the heavens, do what you got to do, but grieve and accept the new world and move on. I have a good friend who got C-19 from their roommate and the roommate is gaslighting them about it, refuses to apologize, saying it's no big deal. Do you know how fucked up that is? Like if you got someone sick with anything, the least you should do is apologize. We are not okay collectively as a society. And this is very big proof of all of that. You need to do better. You need to grow up. You need to accept reality as it is, not as you wish it were. No matter how many other people say that it's okay, it's not okay. And deep down, you know that. And it is painful to watch people who I know know better just go along to get along and go along with essentially what the vulture class wants from us. Because look up Davos safe. They know how dangerous this shit is. They are not in the subways with us. They are not rubbing elbows with us. If they are in the concerts that y'all are going to, they are in the skybox with good air filtration and they're wearing masks in and out of the place because they know. And you know too. You got to start acting like it. Do we want to have a future? Do we want to keep existing? If we do, we have to act like we know. We can't live in denial.